What's up guys? My name is George and we are one day away from the World Cup. I have been waiting so long for this day to come since 2010. Yes, of course, obviously four years. Um, and it's uh, very exciting. I am so excited. It's going to be a great month of football around the world. This is where everybody gets together for one thing, for one thing, the World Cup football. And so in this video, guys, I just wanted to uh, talk about each of the teams that are going to be in the World Cup a little bit. I did a video like this uh, a few months ago. Um, and But this time around, you know, it's the... Uh, I wanted to talk about... I, I, I really, what I wanted to do here is talk about the teams, but also I uh, want you guys to comment, you know, in the comments uh, on what team you, th you think you think, guys is going to win the World Cup. And, um, okay, let's say if you go for a team like uh, Iran... You know, obviously they have uh, very, very small chances of winning a World Cup. I mean, let's be honest. So please don't tell me, you know, Iran's going to win the World Cup or like teams like Bosnia. Because, I mean, those teams are very unrealistic. Tell me, you know, the teams that you actually think are going to win. Like for me, you know, obviously I'm Mexican, so I'm going to, you know, my team's Mexico. But uh, I know that they, uh, they have a very small chance of winning a World Cup. My team is Germany. I think they're the team that are going to take this cup uh, home. And so, yeah, so hopefully you guys can comment on that. But let's talk real quick about the teams here. First one's going to be Iran. So from Asia, from the Confederation of Asia, Iran don't have a big chance of even getting out of the group stages. If they do, that's going to be big for them. So that's the thing I think they're going to they're gonna hope for, you know, just getting to the round of 16. Then we're going to go with Japan. Japan actually has a great chance of going on to the next round. I don't know if they have a chance of going into the quarterfinals, but they have a big chance of getting to the round of 16. Korea Republic, another team right there that is very, uh, you know, has a, a great chance of going on to the next round as well. Australia is in a very bad group. I mean, they are going to have to do a miracle to beat Chile, the Netherlands, and Spain. It's going to be really hard, and I don't see them going on to the next uh, round. All right, so that was Asia. Let's go to the next confederation, which is Africa. The first team is Algeria. Algeria, another team, uh, you know, that's got a pretty good chance uh, of going on to the next round, you know, they have their their star player Figuli from Valencia, so it could be good for them. Then we're gonna go with Cameroon, which they are in the group with the host Brazil, of course, Mexico, and Croatia. Cameroon, they have uh, they have a chance of going through with Brazil. I mean, that group is gonna be very tight. You know, Croatia, uh, Mexico, and Cameroon. I think they're gonna be the the teams that are gonna be second. Uh, and Brazil, of course, are going to be the first uh, the first ones in that group. So Cameroon definitely has a great chance with Atto as their star man. Cote d'Ivoire, um, another team that has a great chance on going on to the round of 16. I don't know if they could go past that, but definitely they have very, very good players to go through. You know, Ture, Drogba, other players, so they have a good chance. Then we, got, we go with Ghana, who I think are not going to go into the next round. You know, the obvious is going to be Portugal and Germany in that group. Ghana and I think the other team there, the USA, are not going to be able to make it to the next round. Then we got Nigeria who are in the group of Argentina. It's going to be hard for them to go on to the next round, but uh, you know, they might be able to do it. And so that's going to be for Africa right there. Now let's go with South America and let's go with one of the, mo the favorite teams to win it all in this World Cup. And of course, I'm talking about Brazil. Definitely Brazil has a very high chance of winning the World Cup. Brazil, of course, with Neymar in the team as a star player. Uh, Thiago Silva, maybe, you know, might be even uh, the, the starter, the star, uh, the star of that team, you know, as well. Uh, David Luiz, so definitely Brazil, obviously the favorites to win it all. Next team is Chile, of course, with the Netherlands and Spain and Australia. Chile actually have a good chance of going on to the next round because uh, let's say that Chile does beat Australia, which is, you know, very likely to happen. All they would probably need is a draw with Spain or the Netherlands and, you know, hope for the best. So they have a very good chance of going on to the next round, but that would mean that the Netherlands or Spain, one of those two teams, will have to, uh, you know, will have to be eliminated and that is just very hard to imagine, you know, the Netherlands and Spain being eliminated. Then we got Colombia who have a very good chance of going on to the next round. I think they will do it. And even on to the quarterfinals, I think Colombia are going to get to the quarterfinals. I don't know about, you know, uh, further than that, but but definitely they are going to get to the round of 16. And I think they are going to get to the quarterfinals. Then we got Ecuador, another great team here. I don't see them 
going past the round of 16 you know i think they they would they they could go on to the uh, round of 16 but i don't see them going past that their star man of course is valencia plays for manchester united and uh yeah so let's see how you know it's gonna be interesting to see how they do uruguay is a team that is go going to have to play amazing football against england and italy and especially against italy because i see italy better than england and uruguay in this group um it's uh the other team of course in this group is costa rica but i think they're going to be out uh unfortunately you know for them it's just a very hard group so uruguay are uh, i think they could go on to the next round uh because i think they might be able to be able to beat england and maybe get a draw with uh, uh italy so i don't know but i think they have a good chance of going on to the next round they did they did an amazing job in the last world cup of course uh, getting all the way to the semifinals, I believe. Yeah, so they were very close to getting to that final. Uh, so now let's go to the Europe Confederation. And we're going to have here Belgium. Belgium, this is the dark horse of the World Cup. That's how many people have been calling it. Belgium has an amazing, has just an amazing squad. Young players, experienced players. I mean, they have just an amazing squad. Belgium are predicted to actually get to the uh, to the quarterfinals or something like that. I mean, that's I saw it. Forgot the source where I saw that, but yeah, they have a very good chance of going all the way to that, and I think they could do it. Uh, then we got Bosnia Herzegovina. This team actually has a good chance as well to go into the next round. Of course, the star man is Zeko from Manchester City. So let's see how they do. Croatia, the team that's uh, in the uh, that's gonna play the first the home the opener game against Brazil are gonna have a tough tough time trying to get to the round of 16 they could do it obviously up against brazil i don't see them winning but against cameroon and mexico they might be able to win those games and get a or get a draw and win one i don't know but croatia has a good chance of going to the next round then we've got england england are in a group that you know with uruguay and italy and obviously costa rica but i think england are going to be able to beat costa rica but then after that i don't know uruguay is going to be very tough and I don't see them beating Italy, so uh, that's going to be very hard for England. Seriously, guys, I, I don't think England's going to go to the round of 16. I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't I don't see them going to the round of 16. I think Uruguay and Italy are better teams, so it's going to be so hard for them. Then we got France here. France, um, they are, I forgot which, which group they are. I'm sorry, guys, I don't have the group here. Uh, you know the, the, um, the groups, but I think France is gonna have it's gonna go on to the next round for sure round of 16 and then uh, Maybe even the quarterfinals I think but I don't see France as a big big uh, Team in this World Cup then we got Germany This is the team that I think is gonna win it all Germany always a contender to win the title And I think this time in Brazil they are gonna take the World Cup home Germany for me are the team here with all those stars it's unfortunate that Royce got injured but I think Germany are gonna take it all then we've going to go with Greece a team that has surprised us before you know the, remember that time in the euro in the euros where they won against portugal i forgot what year that was but remember if you guys remember they won that euro cup and it was just unbelievable so they could surprise us and get to the round of 16 and even more italy of course another great team another team that's favorite to win the world cup as well i think they are going to go to the next round and uh, I think they're going to get to the semifinals or the final. I see Italy going very far in this World Cup. Netherlands, um, obviously with Spain and Chile and Australia, I think they might be able to go ahead to the next round. The only thing that I don't see them, you know, the only downside for the Netherlands, I think, is their defense. I think that's the worst things about them. But their midfield and their, and you know, obviously their forward, which is uh, Van Persie, their star man, I think they're going to do very good and go on to the next round. Then we got Portugal. Um, another team, you know, with Cristiano Ronaldo, the star man, of course, I think they are going to go to the next round with Germany, you know, in that group with the USA and Ghana. So, Ronaldo, if he is at his 100%, it's just going to be a very good Portugal side. So, yeah, definitely watch out for Portugal. Then we got Russia, who I think they lost their captain. I think his name was Shurikov or something like that. I'm not that sure. But uh, Russia, I don't know if they, they could go. If they go to the next round, I mean, that's very good for them. You know, that's gonna, you know, that's just gonna be very good for them. So, you know, I don't know about Russia there. Spain, of course, another favorite to win the World Cup. Uh, you know, as well, Spain. Um, I think they are gonna go to the next round. I think I believe they are gonna go to the next round. 
and uh, it'll be just uh, it will be the huge the the wor the biggest upset if Spain did not go to the next round. Then we got Switzerland, a team that actually does very good in the World Cup. I think Switzerland will actually beat Spain in the 2010 uh, World Cup. You know, I think if you guys remember that, I think I think Switzerland did, did beat Spain. Um, so Switzerland, another team that surprises in the, in this World Cup. So let's see, we'll see how they do. And finally, we're gonna go with the last confederation, and that is the Conga Cup from North America, Central America. Costa Rica, the first team here. They are, unfortunately, for all my Costa Rican fans, they are not even. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think they're 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 even gonna get a point. They might get a point, maybe against Chile, but I don't think so. I mean, sorry, Costa Rica. I think you guys are just gonna, you know, just take a little trip over there. And uh, yeah, there's just for me, there's a one percent chance of going down to the next round. So Costa Rica, I don't think they're gonna do anything here. Honduras, another team that they actually have a great chance of going on to the next round because of the group that they're in. I forgot again. Sorry guys, I don't have the group here. I should have had it. But I think they have a group where they um, where they have a, actually a chance of going on. I think they are with Colombia in that group. Uh, but I forgot what other what other teams there are in there. Um, but I think they do. They might have a chance of going on to the next round, and for them, that would be just a historic thing to do. The next team, of course, is going to be Mexico. That is my team. That uh, you know, Mexico for me. They barely made it to the World Cup, and I am just glad that they are in the World Cup. You know, it's just uh, you know they have to enjoy the moment. I mean, they are with Brazil, Croatia, and Cameroon. Mexico, if they played against Port, if they play like they did against Portugal, you know they lost against Portugal 1-0, but I, for, in my opinion, they played way better than them, and they even had chances where they could have won the game. For me, Mexico can do it. They can do it. They believe in themselves. So hopefully, they do go on to the next round, the round of 16. Uh, so obviously, I'm rooting for them, but. It's gonna be a tough one to uh, to go to the next round. And finally, we're gonna go with the United States. That is the last team here, the USA. Unfortunately, I do not see them going on to the next round. Maybe they might get something off of Portugal. You know, they you know if they beat Ghana and they get a point from Portugal or Germany, they might have a chance. But I just do not see the US going on to the next round. So that is all the teams right there, the guys. The 32 teams in the World Cup. Like I said, we are one day away from that. So, guys, hopefully you guys can comment down below on what teams, you know, I mean, on what team is going to world, going to win the World Cup. Obviously, for me, it's going to be Germany. But please, guys, uh, do let me know uh, who, who you guys think is going to win this 2014 World Cup. And that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a bit long, but uh, I could talk about this all day. I mean, guys, I mean, obviously, I love football. And the World Cup is just the best thing that happens every four years. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video, guys. And let's enjoy the World Cup. <laughs>